What is your vestibular? Basically, it asks the questions, where am I in space and time and which way is up? That's the only thing it wants to know. You forgot something. I live inside your ear, but I have nothing to do with your hearing. Oh gosh, it's happening again. You're damn right I'm weighing in on this conversation because I'm one of the most important things inside of your body, other than my lover, the uh, eyeballs. So yes, continue. Okay. Well, if you let me continue, they probably want to listen to me more than they do you, or at least look at me rather than looking at you, because you're kind of weird looking. All right, here goes. Let's hope that squiddy thing doesn't, you know, interrupt too much. We are designed to protect one thing and the most important thing in our body from hitting the floor. That is our brain, because that is what we are. That is who we are. So we don't want to mess this up by knocking this on the ground. So we have three primary satellites in our body or GPS systems that prevent this from hitting that, which is the floor. They are, number one, your eyes, your vision. That's really important to your brain. It holds a lot of real estate in there. Your eyes, basically, if you can see, then you're less likely to trip over something, or fall over something and hit the ground. Number two is your vestibular system. So that is your equilibrium 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 it's your motion it's how we move through the world and how we balance and number three is your movement and sensory information what are my joints doing when my eyes turn this way my head turns this way my body has to turn this way as well those three things all work together to stop and prevent your head falling onto the ground so the brain integrates all that sensory input, figuring out that motor response, like where and how to move, uh, how to move the eyes, how to move the joints, how to move this and that. However, injury, disease, the aging process, drugs, and poor mapping can slightly affect these processes of vision and balance and movement, and therefore literally making us feel slightly off balance. So think of your vestibular as a seesaw. If I'm standing and want to balance that seesaw, I'm going to have to stand right in the center of that seesaw and be perfectly balanced so that seesaw doesn't go one way or the other. And that's kind of what the, uh, the vestibular does. So if you slightly add a little bit of weight onto your left foot, that seesaw is going to start to move towards the left. Now, in reality, in life, if I sort of move my eyes or turn my head left, my joints and the, the information from my brain tells my body we must want to move left. So that's got a lot to do with the vestibular. So a healthy working vestibular will help you, one, see clearly when you are walking and moving around. That's really important. If you can't see clearly when you're walking and moving around, that's going to be a threat response for your brain. If I can't see something that I'm going to bang into, my body is in turn going to slow me up and slow me up through my movement. Because remember, it goes eyes, balance, movement. So I can't see my balance is therefore going to be under threat. And so I need to move slower. So I'm going to be stiff and tight if I can't see properly. The vestibular also sort of works with the speed of movement, the direction of movement, if I quickly turn, if I quickly turn back the other way. And if you don't have a healthy vestibular, if I quickly turn this way, what's going to happen? I'm going to come off balance. I'm going to fall over. I'm going to hit my head. So it's going to put the brakes on my body. And I know I keep saying this, but this is really important for people to understand. If you're constantly stiff and tight and you've got a tender neck, sore back, sore knees, sore feet all the time, it is likely that you have a poor functioning vestibular. And the vestibular works extremely close to the eyes because if I move my eyes, my head is going to want to move with my eyesight. The eyes are in fact so closely linked to the vestibular that 70 to 90% of all sensory information is visual. So if you want to change how someone moves, then you need to change how someone sees. 
You also need to change how they balance, how they are upright in posture. The vestibular has also got a lot to do with someone's upright position. It sets the extensor tone in the body. That is that beautiful upright posture. Now, if your vestibular is off whack or off balance on one side compared to the other, you're going to have a compensation on that side that's a little bit out of whack. So if my left vestibular is not working well, I'm more likely to have less extension tone, meaning upright position on that side. So I may walk around with a little bit of a tilt from one side to the other. What's a really interesting fact is in rats, they damage the vestibular and those rats developed osteoporosis. And then from the osteoporosis, they also started decreasing or reducing the amount of movement they did daily because there was a threat response there to the brain. Once the brain does not understand the mapping system of how you see or your balance, it will tighten you up. It will stop you moving. It will decrease your motion and it'll give you pain in things like the neck, because the only way to move the vestibular is to move the neck and the eyes. So if it doesn't understand the map here, it's not going to move that area very well because it thinks it's doing a good job for you. It thinks it's giving, it thinks it's helping you out by slowing you down. Okay. So how do we train the vestibular system? Well, like I said before, we have canals inside of our ears. Those canals are designed to pick up on head movements and motion. So to improve the vestibular function, we need to improve our neck capability and our neck function. We need to improve our motion through our head and our neck, our mobility through this area, our mapping through this area. The eyes are also closely related, so we need to start improving what we can see and our mapping of our visual system as well. In conclusion, if we want a healthy vestibular, which is a high priority on the brain's list of a healthy body, then we need to train the eyes, train the neck and the head, and train our balance. Do you know what we don't train in this society? However, it is our vision, it is our balance. We instead focus on our movement. Now, like I said, our visual system is 70 to 90% all sensory information that hits our brain, which means our movement is like 20%, okay? 10%, I'm not good at maths. 10%, 10 to 20 to 30% <laughs> of all information. So we spend so much time on this, <laughs> but less time on this. Moving our eyes, moving our head, motorizing the most important things, balancing, okay? All of these things I'm gonna teach you how to do. How to balance all systems of the brain, that vision, that vestibular, and that motor response all together. Move it! I like to move it, move it.